All right, so, so far in the storyboard, we are between this panel and this panel. And pretty soon, as my story is ending, you know, beginning, middle, end, storm clouds need to start coming in. So I was realizing as I'm building from this to this, and the, these flowers start shooting out, I want to maybe play a little bit with the coloring of the sky. And there's a few ways I can do that. I can just play directly with that asset and do a color balance, but I can also duplicate it. and layer it with different um, layer modes and do a color balance on the duplicate, which I might do. Because I want the, the sky to shift a little from the warmer colors to the bluer colors. And right now it's at only 15% on soft light. So I can play with that opacity as well. See, so a little bit of shift, right? So from this to this, maybe, maybe that's a little too strong the color, so let's keep it at only about 11. Okay, so that's good. Hold that option, layer, merge visible. Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it all. It's a good idea to save your work every once in a while. Now that I have all these plant assets kind of copied and worked out, it's a good time to save. And then paste it in as my next frame. Boom. Huh. Oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that was a really big change. Now you don't even have to have all your layers on in order to run an animation test, so you don't need to worry about that. But it can be fun to kind of play through them. Remember, all the, the timeline tool does is program these eyeballs. So it's still saving there, so. I can start to play it backwards a little bit. See what I think. That camera jog is a little jarring, but it'll work. I do like how the head comes out of the fur. I think that worked well. Okay. Still saving. So now what I'm going to do is go to the next extra plant group. See, don't want this yet. Okay, it's saved, good. And maybe those two together, that's pretty extreme. But I can also just do this. See, it's this one and this one. Let's warp those back or distort those back a little bit because there's multiples. I can't warp them unless I merge them together, but I'm gonna have them kind of shoot out in time.
Now, here's the problem. My assets file is getting to be over two gigabytes, which is why it took so long to save, because it's right at two gigabytes. So I'm going to get rid of this first extra plant group, the one that I already finished and made the frame of, so I can always recreate it from one of my extras. Like I said, this is the lazy way to do it, but it takes up a lot of memory. Now I've got this addition. I'm going to change the head. Same old steps. And darken the sky. And move the sky. And then I'm going to dim these a little. Where's the other one? Feel a little over strong. Feels like too much change. What about this? See, the sky is too strong. Let's change its position. Yeah, I think that can work. Like that. All right. So you got to play around. <coughs> Hold down option, layer, merge, visible. I'm below two gigs, so it should work. Command A, Command C. Go to the stage, paste it in, and B. Okay, so now I'm transitioning into this, moving into the storm clouds. Deselect, get rid of that merged. Move to the next, get rid of this one. This is where I want to get to. That's where I was. I don't think I can do it all in one. So I need one more step. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. So maybe this. Maybe this one, but a lot smaller. <coughs> That's a lot. This one, but a lot smaller. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's change the head. Uh, let's see, which one is it? Move this in a little. It's nice having them all as different assets. You can just make adjustments as needed make a better frame. That's still a big change, let's see. That actually might be as far as I want to go. Because otherwise it's going to cover up the sky. So now I'm going to make the sky a little bit darker. I'm going to make the clouds move. OK, 
good. All right. Hold that option, layer, merge visible. It's looking very much like a fine art museum digital art piece. It just makes no sense. It's very weird. It's a good sign for a GIF animation. Paste it in. So now we have this multicolor bouquet explosion. Do we want to go one step further? From this to this, yeah. Uh. No, I don't think so. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that asset. Okay, now we move to the next stage. So I'm here, so now we have the storm clouds rolling in. So I'm gonna save my stage. And it's funny, I can just make those plants disappear all at once if I want to. But let's see. I'm gonna start moving this up. this color. I'm going to erase out at 100% the soft edge. This is the darkening sky. It's like a texture fill. So I want to soften that edge. Come on. Okay, and then I might want to transform it a little. So it affects everything. I'm going to save my work if it's slowing down on me. And while I'm doing that, while it's saving, I can run an animation test because I'm on to my last row. Drag this to the trash, select them all. I have 20 frames so far. Hold down shift. Come on. Set the timing. 0.3. Play it forever. It comes out, zooms in. Photoshop's lagging a little because it's saving in the background, but it shows me the movements just a lot slower than it really is. Yeah, I like how the flowers grow out. I think that works. Yep, I think that's enough. So now the, the wind and the lightning has to change everything. Get back to a set to reset. <coughs> All right, so I've got the darkened sky. Now what I'm gonna do with those flowers, I'm gonna take the whole thing and I'm actually going to merge it together. But before I do that, let me make a duplicate of it. So what I do is I merge the group and it will make it into one combined <coughs> layer. Should save some memory as well. Oh, unfortunately, I have to delete 